What's going on, everybody? My name is Debray. Welcome back to Pure Exotics. He doesn't have a name yet, but uh, hopefully by the end of this video, we can change that. Stay tuned. This right here, guys, is my black milk, my black milk snake. As you can see, he is beautiful, and I can't wait to tell you guys more about him. I picked this guy up at the last show out here that was uh, in Las Vegas. I forget the name. It was in my last video. I got him from Prismatic Reptiles. He was awesome. Really, really great dude. I can't uh, can't recommend him enough as well. Thank you, guys. I'll chat you out. Put all these links on the description below as well at the end of this. But, yeah, these guys are awesome. These are big, big babies. They come out. They're so cool. They're related to, like, Honduran milk snakes. But unlike Hondurans, even though they're babies, you see they're a little bit jumpy. But as you guys know Hondurans, if you know anything about Hondurans, a baby Honduran milk snake would be gone already. So these guys are real, real calm. They're real, real, uh, they're, they're pretty bold for babies. They're not too, too flighty. Of course, when he gets bigger, though, he'll, he'll definitely calm down. But the cool thing about these guys is they start off with this pattern, but then as they grow, they shed super, super quick. And each time they shed, they actually turn solid black. You end up with a solid black snake. These are one of the biggest uh, milk snakes that there are. These guys can get as upwards of six feet, so he'll definitely be needing a bigger taste But as he grows. But I'm just so excited about this, guys. I'll get a little close-up of him for you guys, man. I just love... Just we're gonna be able to watch him slowly change each shed he's gonna get a little bit darker a little bit darker and you can see how calm he really is he's still a baby so of course if i move my hands too fast he's gonna jump he's not too much like a hog nose i know i do a lot of hog noses on this channel but i had one before and i really really kicked myself for letting it go so i had to get another black milk these guys are just ridiculous super calm snakes they get so chill and they're just like the, the timberman's awesome they come from uh costa rica in the mountains of panama high high elevation these guys can be found anywhere from like I think it's 4,000 feet in elevation all the way up into like 7,000 feet elevation, no lie. So these guys like a real wet, humid, cold. And because of that, the actual room temperatures that you have in your house are actually perfect for these guys. These guys don't like it hot at all. They like it nice, wet, and kind of like just around 70, 80. It gets a little bit too high. You don't even want it in the 80s, really. So you guys really don't even have to use a heater with these. I don't recommend that. Take that with the, you know what I mean? Depending on where you guys live, you don't definitely want to get too cold. And it's always nice to give a snake a, you know, a choice. But these guys are known for being A-OK -okay without any, without any heat, without any extra heat. They're fine. So as you can see, he just actually shed again. So he's looking really, really good. And I'll get a little close up so you can see. Each time he sheds, he's going to get a little bit darker and darker. That white's going to go away. Then it's going to be black and red snake. And then all the red's going to go away. And then, uh... You'll be end up, what you'll end up with finally is a beautiful snake, that's solid black snake. These guys are way better than like even the Mexican king snakes. A lot of people like Mexican king snakes because they start off all black, you get a nice all black snake. But honestly, they're known, they're really, they're really flighty, they're nippy, they like to musk a lot. As you can see, we barely, I don't handle this guy, I like to let him chill. And like he'll, he'll move around, but he's not really trying to musk me. He's not flighty, he's not trying to bite me. If anything, he's more worried, but he's just so confident. They come out big, ready to go. And as he gets bigger and bigger, he'll be even more of a just a perfect ambassador animal. I have no idea why these guys aren't like more popular. So yeah, that's him. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll put him away, but you guys do some research on their black milk. I can't wait to see this guy grow up. You'll see a lot more of him on the channel. Uh, looking for a girlfriend. My actually, one of my old, old, old friends, the one that gave me my first one. <laughs> my old old friends that i ended up getting my first black milk snake from way back uh his name's dave <laughs> shout out to dave he actually has he still has his original breeding pair so next season i'm definitely in line for a female and i definitely hope to start working with these guys and producing these guys because these guys are amazing as you can see so we'll put him back he doesn't have a name yet put a name put a drop a link in the descriptions if you do have a name i'm thinking maybe like september or something i don't know i don't i've used no name snakes but He's just so unique and so rare. Not even a lot is really known about them. Like, even in captivity, they eat mice and they eat uh, rats. They eat rodents just fine. But in the wild, they don't even know exactly what their diet is. Like, because they're just, they're that, they're that rare. And I think the the right word is octo, octogenetic, octo something. <laughs> I'll put the right word right here. But uh, it's, it's just, uh, it describes their, 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 their color change. Because they're one of the only snakes in the world that does this. Like, it's just crazy. They start off just beautiful, beautiful snake and end up with just a magnificent, solid, solid black snake. And another cool thing is they actually, they're actually, they get darker than uh, Mexican black kings too. So that's another cool thing about them. So yeah, I'll put this guy back and then we'll get him fed, all right? 
Alright guys, that'll pretty much do it for in here. I hope you guys learned a little bit. Definitely do your own research too for you, you know, make a decision to pick one of these guys up because they do get pretty big. So they're great, impressive snakes. I love them. I plan to slowly upgrade him as he grows. He sheds like once a month consistently. Like so he's like he's he's not gonna have a problem eating, growing, or you know, becoming that. So I already got a plan. I'm gonna get some nice uh some nice eight by eights and you know, and you stack them up for him and his girl, his little lady, his future lady. And then yeah, but that's way down the line. But definitely do your research. These guys are awesome, awesome snakes. I have no idea why they're not more popular. Because like I say, when they're babies, they're a lot more calmer. They're they're beautiful. You get to see that color change, which is really rare in snakes, just to see them go from one color to a completely different color slowly over time. It's gonna be pretty cool. And then like you said, like if you don't you don't need a whole bunch of heat lamps and anything like that, because if you keep your room, keep your house in you know average temperatures, they're pretty much okay with that. But like I said, I like to offer them that anyway, just in case they want to, you know, digest anything like that. But it's definitely not needed. Uh, most of these guys come from uh, the San Antonio Zoo, the San Antonio Zoo line. Those are the original females that were imported from Costa Rica. So most of their collection is going to be from that. So, I mean, not not a lot is known about them, man. These snakes are great, but uh, hopefully hopefully things will change. I think Snake Discovery did a video on them, too. So if you want to check that out, I want a little bit more, too. They call them basically like the poor man's Eastern Indigo because Eastern Indigo, Eastern Indigo snakes are like a lot of money, <laughs> too much money for me, um, like $1,000. But these ones get just as black. That they're real calm, they still get a nice, big, impressive snake, and they just, they're underrated, so check them out. It's a little bit of everything. You see, I got bearded dragons, black milks, you know, and the hogs, but yeah. Other than that, you guys stay safe. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.